and uh, what I'm trying to do right now is uh, trying to figure out which is which want to replace my LCA on the Civic EG hatch uh, I already replaced the coilovers and it's only a uh, STD or you know not your sexually transmitted disease but it's uh, standard coilovers from Taiwan this one I believe is for the EK since the space or gap over here is 40 mil or 40 millimeter now when I bought the car last year uh, June month of June 2021 that was June 5 to be exact function 7 which is this crappy I had a problem with the uh, bushing the bolt was just like spinning back and forth and I remembered I had to use a grinder to cut the bolt the uh, other bolt and then replace it with a different kind of bushing but anyway that's a different story I hope I can upload that and share it to you guys just in case if someone encounter the same problem the only solution is to use this kind of bolt the uh, it's not a full thread you, you need the, a bolt like this so it doesn't get stuck on the inner bushing or the uh, what you call this spindle yeah anyway back to our main topic or main story so again this F7 or function 7 LCA is ready installed on the EG hatch when we bought it and this one is designed for EK I made a couple of searches or research on Google YouTube Facebook EK's using 40 mil over here and then 50 millimeter over here and then another 50 over here so I'm gonna try to confirm that so, uh, zero and then just gonna measure this up real quick so it's 50 50 point something but it's 50 mil or maybe 49 49.7 and then the other end should be the same thing 50 point zero 50 mil now for the strut bushing this should be at 39 or 40 for where are you 39.5 or 39.8 40 millimeter now I bought a, a BWR most likely this is only replica BWR LCA Blackworks racing I'm not into racing but I just love the color it's blue kind of uh, it will kind of blend well with the STD coilovers but not sure for the measurements over here also 50 or maybe 49 49 mil close to 50 millimeters uh, I think that's good and then the other end is 49 48.6 48.5 so both ends they both ends they're not a problem this one this one the only problem is this which is uh, it's giving me 50 49 there you go 49 millimeter and it doesn't fit my uh, STD or standard coilover so I think what I need to do is uh, either grind this off so it will fit or I can press them out remove this and then remove the old one install it back here and then replace the uh, rubber bushings but there's another issue I'm hoping that I'm wrong so here we go I'm gonna try show it to you guys I'm gonna slide in the bolt like so and then I'm gonna slide it over here it should be a dead match slide it over here and it fits there we go it fits both of them yeah but another issue is this the bolt is not really going through so I think what will happen is that uh, 
if we're gonna insert this over here, let me ask another one over here. I may need to replace my camber of oh, the schmuck. It's not going in. Anyway, uh, I think I can install the BWR, but I may need to buy an adjustable camber kit for the rear. Here's what will happen if we're gonna, we can install them successfully. This might go toe in or toe out, but I'm not sure, hoping that I'm wrong so I don't have to buy a camber kit. It's been uh, several weeks or I think more than a month since I bought this and I cannot to have the buyer replace this anymore even though it's uh, untouched or it's not yet installed no scratches but uh, yeah I think that's just about it I think I need to remove this remove the old bushing on the F7 and install it here but I'm not sure if that is a good idea or maybe I could buy another set of uh, spindle and then install it over here I don't know uh, that's the only problem that I have so I think it's much easier if you guys are gonna buy just a uh, an EKBWR this is for the EG let, let me show you the box the, the crappy box here you go and it says EG Chongkwai La BWR with some Chinese stuff China number one they're gonna take over the whole universe it's nothing we can do <laughs> BWR is already bankrupt so most likely this is just a replica class A a fake call it whatever you like but uh, that this is my only option at the moment and maybe next I'm hoping to buy maybe hard race you know the authentic ones anyway I just want to show you guys what I'm trying to do right now <laughs> so I'm gonna update my uh, vlog or maybe diary about the EG hatch and let's see what will happen. I still need to figure things out. And the other LCA, the F7 LCA on the left side is kind of stuck so I need to use my grinder again and then remove it. But that will be a different video but for now this is just uh, what I want to show you at the moment. Maybe before installing the BWR maybe I should just check out the weight or maybe the sizes and then upload it as well so some of you guys want to know the dimensions anyway i need to take my lunch and uh see you next time adios <laughs>